The three diesels were horrified. Then what happened? wondered Daisy. Well, said Donald, no one back in Scotland ever found out what we did to Diesel 5, but his absence didn't go unnoticed. His remains were eventually discovered by a breakdown gang, and they took his remains to crew works to be scrapped. The death of Diesel 5 became a mystery to the public back then. At one point, he was on the main line. Then, he was at the bottom of where a bridge once stood. Eventually, said Douglas, the police were looking through Diesel 5's work records, and they found out that tank engine he killed at the harbor was his fifth victim. He was the cause of the deaths of four other steam locomotives, either by pushing them down large hills or into the sea. It was also revealed that Diesel 5's driver had allowed Diesel 5 to commit these murderous acts and was sentenced to life in prison. After that, nothing was said on the matter the death of Diesel 5 was still a mystery, but considering his crimes, no one thought much of it. What happened to the both of you? wondered Boko. Well, me and Dougie did, Im did eventually admit that we had a lot of guilt regarding our actions on that night. On one hand, it could have been wise of us if we brought Diesel 5 and his driver to the police and let them deal with them. But on the other hand, he did take the lives of five innocent locomotives. And it could have been six if I didn't save Dougie. We eventually came to the same conclusion one day. No matter how it would have went, a monster's fate was sealed. There was a long silence until Boko spoke up. Well, as much as I don't agree on your actions, what you did to that monster, I'm glad you guys got rid of him. Same here, said Derek. Me too, said Daisy. If you guys need any help uh, getting over your past experiences, just come and find us, okay? Okay, said Donald. Okay, repeated Douglas. Good, that's settled then, said Boko. I am trying to sleep! What's his problem? 